pretty much 12 months ago to the day, I had an idea that maybe I could run a course to teach some of the mindset tools that I had learned along my journey that had really helped me to be able to manage my mind and to be able to start both building a life that I love, but also dealing with some really tricky circumstances in quite a kind way that was not compounding the problems by being mean to myself. Cut to the whole of 2022, and I have been running a new course on a new theme every month for the last 12 months. Um, we have worked on body image and boundaries and perfectionism and self-sabotage and money and a whole load of other themes that really build a bigger picture for people to be able to support themselves and their lives and constantly throughout it building on different aspects of being able to look at our emotional resilience and giving us tools to be able to train our brains to not always run to the worst case scenario and always run to this fantasy safe place where it tells you that everything is a bit rubbish and you need to run away and hide because that's where it's safe. In self-care school, we learn that the safest place for us is when we build foundations of kindness and compassion for ourselves and for ourselves in situations where we don't always get things right. It's about learning to fail with grace. It's about learning to have your own back. And it's about learning from other people. When I set up the course, what I was really hoping was to be able to create a space that was going to be accessible for people from lots of different walks of life, especially people who thought that the idea of self-care was out of their means or not really something that would be affordable or accessible to them. So I set up the whole structure that it is on an if you can, if you can't and free if you need it payment basis. And many, many people told me that that would not be possible and that just wouldn't work because um, everyone will go for the free option if the free option is available. And what I have actually found is that it's about a third for each, about a third of the people pay the, the full fee and about a third of the people pay the reduced fee and um, about a third of the people um, come in on bursary or scholarship places. And every so often I have incredible people who come along and really appreciate the work that I'm trying to do and offer to pay more and help me support paying for um, the people who I give the spaces to for free. And what's really incredible about creating a space like this is that it means that there are so many different people from so many different avenues, so many different walks of life, so many different stories, all learning from each other. And that may not sound like the most revelationary thing ever, but suddenly when you have someone who's lived a very different life from yours and has a very different story from yours, is suddenly talking about problems that you thought were your secret from your head, that you'd never even got to vocalise before, and you're watching them work through the difficulties, the challenges, and challenging themselves to try and approach their problem with more compassion for themselves, to sort out why they keep falling into old habits, why they keep tripping themselves up, why they keep not stepping forward into their own gloriousness. Um, we learn so much from each other and we learn so much from hearing our story being told by somebody else when we thought that it was only our secret. So this is the most amazing space on the internet, as people quite often in the group call it. I'm quite proud of that. Um, every week we have a new, well, every month we have a new theme and every week there is a new workbook, a new video, and you get a group coaching call. And honestly, I just think it's, it's such an incredible, open hearted, open, honest, gracious place of kindness where people are supporting each other so much being there is so much kindness and actually quite a lot of laughter and quite a lot of swearing and it's not all a particularly pious self-care evangelical love yourself nonsense it's real and political and aware of the systematic structures that we live in that that put us um, arrive us at particular conclusions and how that they impact some people more than others and it is definitely looking at how we can be the catalysts for change within that and that we are not even though we may have 
different circumstances that we arrive at some of these difficulties with. The same solution is for all of us and that is to treat ourselves with more kindness as we go through it, whatever that it is for you. So I really invite you along to this beautiful, beautiful space, um, whether it is doing this work in a kind of space where you feel like you would just like to do it with some other people who are trying their best as well, or whether you don't really know what you want, but you do know that you want some change, or whether you were just, you kind of think that everything's all right, but you just feel like it's not gonna take that much to tip it all over, or you think that everything's okay, but you're not sure that if it wasn't okay that you'd have the resilience to be able to deal with it not being, if any of those things could be true for you, or if you're just excited by learning, and you're just excited at being in a space with a whole load of people who have very, very different stories, who are just invested in learning about their own brains, trying to make their lives the most joyful, fun, fulfilling place that they wanna be, I'd love for you to come and join Self Care School. We have a few different options for different courses. We run a different course every month and we have packages um, for course bundles. And we also have um, a yearly access pass, which means that you just get to come along to all of the stuff or as little as the stuff that you want to, then that works out to be a fiver, just it's under a fiver a week if you pay for the all access pass, which frankly is ridiculous. And it's ridiculous for a reason, because I want you to be able to say really easily that you choose yourself and you choose your best possible story. And I really want this for you. So um, I would love to see you inside. If you have any questions, do drop me an email. And hopefully I look forward to seeing you in one of the calls. Take care of yourselves.